How snails have more teeth than you and nine other surprising science facts. Hi Science Tellers, welcome to Science Deli, the channel where we tell you amazing facts about science that will make you say wow. Today, we are going to talk about 10 things that you probably didn't know about the world we live in. Are you ready? Let's go! Number 1. Did you know that Earth's poles are moving? This magnetic reversal of the North and South Pole has happened 171 times in the past 71 million years. We're overdue a flip. It could come soon, as the North Pole is moving at around 55 km per year, an increase over the 15 km per year up until 1990. The magnetic poles are the points where the magnetic field lines of the Earth converge. They are not the same as the geographic poles, which are the points where the axis of rotation of the Earth intersects the surface. The magnetic poles are constantly shifting due to the movement of the molten iron in the Earth's core, which generates the magnetic field. Sometimes, the magnetic poles can reverse, meaning that the North Pole becomes the South Pole and vice versa. This can have serious consequences for navigation, communication, and wildlife that rely on the magnetic field. Number 2. Did you know that you can actually die laughing? And a number of people have, typically due to intense laughter causing a heart attack or suffocation. Comedy shows should come with a warning. Laughter is usually a healthy and positive response, but it can also be dangerous if it is too extreme or prolonged. Laughter can cause changes in the blood pressure, heart rate, and oxygen levels, which can trigger a cardiac arrest or a stroke. Laughter can also cause spasms in the respiratory muscles, which can lead to choking or asphyxiation. Some examples of people who died laughing are Chrysippus, a Greek philosopher who died after watching a donkey eat figs, Pietro Aretino, an Italian writer who died after laughing at an obscene joke, and Alex Mitchell, a British man who died after watching a comedy sketch on TV. Number 3. Did you know that chainsaws were first invented for childbirth? It was developed in Scotland in the late 18th century to help aid and speed up the process of symphysiotomy, widening the pubic cartilage, and removal of disease-laden bone during childbirth. It wasn't until the start of the 20th century that we started using chainsaws for wood chopping. The original chainsaw was a surgical instrument that consisted of a chain with small teeth attached to a handle. It was used to cut through the pelvic bone of a woman who had a narrow pelvis or a deformed baby, to allow the baby to pass through. The procedure was very painful and risky, and often resulted in infection, bleeding, and death. The chainsaw was later modified and improved for cutting wood, and became a common tool for logging and gardening. Number 4. Did you know that ants don't have lungs? They instead breathe through spiracles, 9 or 10 tiny openings, depending on the species. Ants are insects, and like most insects, they do not have lungs or a circulatory system. Instead, they have a system of tubes called tracheae that carry air directly to the cells. The tracheae are connected to the spiracles, which are small holes on the sides of the ant's body. The ant can open and close the spiracles to control the airflow and prevent water loss. The ant can also use its muscles to pump the air through the tracheae, creating a ventilation system. This way, the ant can breathe without lungs. Number 5. Did you know that the T. rex likely had feathers? Scientists in China discovered early Cretaceous period Tyrannosaur skeletons that were covered in feathers. If the ancestors of the T. rex had feathers, the T. rex probably did, too. The T. rex is one of the most famous and fearsome dinosaurs, but it may not have looked like the scaly reptile we imagine. Recent fossil evidence suggests that the T. rex and its relatives had feathers, at least on some parts of their bodies. The feathers may have been used for insulation, camouflage, display, or flight. The feathers were probably not very colorful, but rather dull and brown. The T. rex may have lost some of its feathers as it grew larger and warmer, but it still retained some of them on its head, neck, and tail. Number 6. Did you know that football teams wearing red kits play better? The color of your clothes can affect how you're perceived by others and change how you feel. A review of football matches in the last 55 years, for example, showed that teams wearing a red kit consistently played better in home matches and teams in any other color. The color red is associated with dominance, aggression, and confidence, which can give a psychological advantage to the players and intimidate the opponents. The color red can also increase the heart rate, blood pressure, and testosterone levels, which can enhance the performance and motivation of the players. The color red can also make the players appear larger and closer, which can influence the referee's decisions. 
The color red can be a powerful factor in football and other sports. Number 7. Did you know that wind turbines kill between 10,000 and 100,000 birds each year in the UK? Interestingly, painting one of the blades of a wind turbine black can reduce bird deaths by 70%. Wind turbines are a renewable and clean source of energy, but they also pose a threat to birds and bats that fly into them. The rotating blades can cause fatal injuries or collisions, or create a pressure drop that can damage the internal organs of the animals. The birds may not see the blades or may be attracted by the noise or the reflection of the sun. One way to reduce the bird deaths is to paint one of the blades of a wind turbine black, which can create a contrast and a motion smear that can alert the birds to avoid the turbine. This simple and cheap solution can save thousands of birds and bats every year. Number 8. Did you know that snails have teeth? between 1,000 and 12,000 teeth, to be precise. They aren't like ours, though, so don't be thinking about snails with ridiculous toothy grins. You'll find the snail's tiny teeth all over its file-like tongue. The snail's tongue is called a redula, and it is covered with rows of microscopic teeth that are made of chitin, the same material as insect shells and spider webs. The snail uses its redula to scrape, cut, and grind its food, which can be plants, fungi, or even other snails. The snail's teeth are constantly worn down and replaced by new ones, so the snail never runs out of teeth. The snail's teeth are also adapted to its diet and habitat, so different species of snails have different shapes and sizes of teeth. Number 9. Did you know that sound can be minus decibels? The quietest place on Earth is Microsoft's Anechoic Chamber in Redmond, Washington, USA, at 20.6 decibels. These anechoic chambers are built out of heavy concrete and brick and are mounted on springs to stop vibrations from getting in through the floor. Sound is a form of energy that travels as waves through a medium, such as air, water, or solid. The loudness of sound is measured in decibels, which are units of sound pressure level. The higher the decibel, the louder the sound. The human ear can hear sounds from zero decibels, which is the threshold of hearing, to about 120 decibels, which is the threshold of pain. However, sound can also be negative decibels, which means that the sound pressure level is lower than the ambient pressure level. This can happen in anechoic chambers, which are rooms that are designed to absorb all the sound and prevent any reflection or echo. In an anechoic chamber, there is no sound source and no sound reflection, so the sound pressure level is very low, below zero decibels. This can create a very quiet and eerie environment, where you can hear your own heartbeat, blood flow, and breathing. Number 10. Did you know that a horse normally has more than one horsepower? A study in 1993 showed that the maximum power a horse can produce is 18,000 watt, around 24 horsepower. Horsepower is a unit of power that measures how much work can be done in a given time. It was invented by James Watt, a Scottish engineer, who wanted to compare the output of steam engines with the power of draft horses. He estimated that a horse can do 33,000 foot-pounds of work per minute, which is equivalent to 746 watts. However, this was a conservative estimate, and the actual power of a horse can vary depending on the breed, size, speed, and condition of the horse. A typical horse can produce about 15 horsepower at a trot, but can reach up to 24 horsepower at a gallop. This means that a horse can outperform a one-horsepower engine, but not for long, as a horse can only sustain its maximum power for a few seconds. So, there you have it. 10 amazing facts about science that you probably didn't know. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Science Deli videos. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on Science Deli.